He said, kill all their sons. Kill all their sons. So that they will not join the enemy tomorrow to attack us. Libya says you go, South Africa says you go, every part of the world says you go in your country. Why are they taking about the person where they take in order to show you about the things that are there? Now, you must say this you go. For the Allah. Let, let's, why do everybody say you go? The bigger problem we have in this world, the Yoruba have, is the Igbo problem. So Igbo bad is a problem. Then when you look at the fake drug, it's by the Igbos. When you look at all the adulterated drugs, so it's by the Igbos. Sometimes I feel like crying when I see and hear some of the things happening in our country, Nigeria. But the one that breaks my heart the most is how some Nigerians think and behave towards their fellow Nigerians. Honestly, it is too sad. I need you to watch this video and hear what these two men of God are saying about the Igbo people and the people of uh, Biafra. Please pay serious attention to everything they have said in this video. It is sad and for me, it is unacceptable. Don't forget to share with our social media platform share with your friends and loved ones god bless you as you do so watch this video listen it's not the only it's not the outside alone yes, the bigger problem we have in this world the yoruba have is evil problem is evil problem the 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 marital and then the you the, 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 the killing among the yoruba race yoruba land is by the evils then when you look at the fake drug it's by the evils when you look at all the adulterated drugs so it's by the evils and when you look at all the all the fake things they brought from China, it's all the Igbos. And when you look at all the shops in the Yarampaja and everywhere, it's by the Igbos. And when you look at the Okotoko and all the saints, even the name they are bearing in their village is different from the name they are bearing in, in Akure. And Igbo who did not go to school, who did not know his left from right, is selling drugs in Abulegba. He's having a chemist in Abulegba. He's having a chemist in Surulere. He's having a chemist in what in Ayobo. He's having a blood bank. We had to start blood and sell into the hospital in Mushi and in Yarampaja. It's Igbo people. Yeah. All to bring down the Yoruba people. So the problem we have now is, is too enormous. Now even to be talking about uh, uh, Wasi was, uh, was, uh, was a chief dancer of Yoruba land. And when you look at it now, Igbo is looking for a way to be a member of the uh, House of Assembly in Lagos. Igbo is looking for a way to be a member of the House of Assembly in Ondo State. Igbo is looking for a way to be a House of uh, member of uh, Assembly in Oyo. What is the meaning of all this? And then they want to have the Emir of uh, Emir of uh, Kano Seller in Ore. They want to have the Emir, the Seriki of uh, uh, Plantain Seller in Abokuta. They want to have the Seriki of Onion Seller in all in the Dimota. When are we going to run out of this rubbish? And when they are bringing all this cow in, they brought in ammunition. What is the problem they are facing? So it's just like that. So they should not cause any any trouble for now. Between now and 2023, they need to be arranging themselves. We are about going. Because when you look at the book of Exodus 1, Exodus 1 verse 8, 9, and 10, he said, anytime the Egyptians are given back, the Israelites are given back, he said, kill all their sons. Kill all their sons. So that they will not join the enemy tomorrow to attack us. That's what he said. Then when you go down... The people must pay us, that's what I'm telling you. If it continue. So I'm speaking because they able to go into the that I yesterday with the uh, pastor. Even the say Britain go, it's a disgrace to you. It's a disgrace to you. It's a disgrace to them. Because how can they be telling you to go all the time? Every all over the world is saying to go. Nobody they reject in any country. Now you go back to the reject, they say that Nigeria. Because they cannot say they are Biafra there.
Then you serve him your seven days before he set you up. Yes. To get that stomach. For your own. See. They, they did set up the boy, the boy fought. And do what? They pursue the boy, come on. You are not encouraging. You are not employing. Eh? In the nation. Only you. All the market in Nigeria, only you. Only them. them. Okay? Go to Alaba now, only them. them. Go to the show market, them. them. They don't bring other people as you say. This is what we call abomination. So, so let me just let me just chip it uh, uh, chip this one uh, this one in now. We saw, for example, South Africa are saying, "I'm coming back for that." Nigeria should go. They don't want to see Nigeria. They don't care where they come from. But in a way, say Nigeria, a Yoruba man, Hausa, Fulani, Alaba, Ijodi, all Nigeria. South Africa say Nigeria should go. Not only Igbo, but I say that it's only Igbo man. Well, that is what you don't understand. Yoruba man in that South Africa is not a problem. Hausa man no problem there. Karama man, there's a problem there. The first thing where the problem there, where they say, Nigeria is so cold, they're not even here. Why do you say so? Because you don't understand, it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. All the nations where they say, Nigeria is so cold. Nobody, uh, Yoruba man, as for inside our country. Or, outside for inside our country. Or, Yoruba man inside our country. Or, a private man. Or, Karama man. Or, Odobo, or River State. The first thing where they make the problem, where they say, they're so cold here. They didn't mention Nigeria is so cold. They're not even here. They're not even here. But an evil man with Fanto, I'm coming. An evil man is in Nigeria, man. That's number one. That is it. Nobody, they made him as Nigeria. Okay, number two is that um, I was on Twitter. The man was complaining that Nigerians, I'm telling you about South Africa, I was that all Nigerians are the same. In South Africa, irrespective of tribe and their religion. Bros, yes. The character of evil man, yes. nobody can encourage it. What's the character that nobody can encourage? We know for this country. Abi, they see Ibo man drive nine drive pass, Abi. The one we enjoy from them. Nothing we enjoy from them. All about crack, 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 crack. Nothing we enjoy from Ibo man. You buy something from them, that's it. If you make me say they rob you, they cheat you. They rob, they cheat you. They can't take things, give you. Yes. Wait. Show our society. They don't corrupt our people by selling ministers for them, selling indecent dressing for them. What do you want to do? You don't encourage practice, you don't encourage anything good. All what you do is you sold. So, Pastor, um, so if you is a problem, why that's why people hate him? You know, I said, it's a good people don't like it. Even in neighborhood, nobody like him. Then they say they don't like him because of their progress. How do you progress? What is your progress where they don't like him? Say they need that hate because of their progress. How do you progress? Huh? That's the problem we have here. You say you are because because you are progress, they need that hate you. How do you progress? They need that hate you. You don't want hate you. Huh? That's the problem we have here. It's a pretty thing you don't understand. Ibo man don't encourage anybody for good thing. He corrupt Nigeria, he corrupt society. Um, Pastor, now you have been accused online for hatred against the Igbo people. Yes, sir. They want them to repent. Okay. Ibo man don't say I'm the problem. Make them repent. If they don't know, can they repent? So, Pastor, I'm going somewhere. You are from the Nigeria Delta, uh -huh. right? And 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 average Igbo man sees you as an Igbo man. No, you don't see me as Igbo man. Okay. You're only a foolish Igbo man. We don't go to school. Listen to me. Yes, the goes to elite. Elite Yoruba know me. Eh? You don't know me as Igbo man. But if Igbo man, Yoruba man will be adoro, foolish people. That is the 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 so I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming. That area, if you check very well, they say you're about to leave. People think say everybody of us are Igbo. If you go to uh, African Magic, we have African Magic Yoruba for Code TV or any of these We have African Magic Hausa. We have African Magic Igbo. But all of us, we're under that Igbo. Only what? Only what they speak. You guys see them bring film for what? For Kwaibu. Bring film for rivers. Bring film for what? For us to be one day. Only them dead. Try to come and everybody say, Nayib Ibu. The elite of Nigeria. Nigeria elite no say, this guy is no Ibu. So if you don't say, somebody will say, 
Pastor, uh, now, 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 we are looking at the fact that you said the other time that you, you said it openly that Yoruba and Igbo people are the problem of Nigeria. That is it. Now, come is according to you, Alsa and them, your, your people, Calabar, are, are, are good people. They are contented. Okay, now, why did you say Yoruba and Igbo are the problem and Alsa and Calabar are the best? Let me tell you what, let me tell you. Yes, sir. Let me tell you. Yes. Outside man, you're yes. contented. Yes. Karama man, you're contented. Yes. Ibo man, Ibo man, not contented. Why? Listen to me. Check very well. What's the need and very well? Yes. Ibo man, yes. Support Ibo corruption. Yes. Ibo man support Ibo corruption. In 1999, yes. when Ibo come into power, till now, no Ibo man government more until Ibo man what they say. Before we have price control, Ibo man no man. Outside more until Ibo man what they say. We have price control. Nigeria, they give the government the wrong money to everybody. You know, I go to people. You know, I go go to China, go to Saudi Arabia, go stay for us for one thousand years. But that's I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. That is what they call balancing of what. You don't know what they call. That is what. Do you think it's seen against the nation? It's sticky. The Yoruba man no money to everybody for what he do. He don't know what the money to the Yoruba man for what he do. All of them, but the two of them are guru 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 guru. Two of them are that. You come and ask them. But ask man. Asa man, right from the beginning, yes. right from the beginning, yes. Asa man had conscience in what he do. Because you imagine how they attack Buhari, you know, you know what remove something? They attack the priest, you know what remove for something? But you need power for eight days. The way you have a man come, what he do? He stand there and remove the miracle. Mm. That's, I mean. That's the area you see. That's what I mean. He stand in his priest. Yes. Just press the priest. Something is normal. Like you can collapse. Mm. The Asa man take caution. No, they should stop me. That thing, nothing, no good. How they could do that thing? Upon all say, Bari was in APC government. They, in, in, even they go bring fake for it. Say, now fake for it. If we come fake, Bari say, no, they don't sauce it. I mean, that's our summer. I mean, that's our summer. Now, honorable man, like, let me say, they play the good luck. Good luck is in your, in your, is Calabar. Mm. You know what I mean? See what you do. When they come, you see how they chop their oil. It was shock. It won't get something. But later, it think twice. Hmm? He said, no, he bring it back to what? 87 naira. He did power. I'm sure you have heard everything these pastors have said about the Igbo people in this video. Honestly, like I said earlier, it is unacceptable. I think that by now, the government should be doing something about things like this. We shouldn't be hating on each other. There should, there should be no room for tribalism in Nigeria. There should be no room at all. I don't understand how some people will come online or why some people will come online to be like using hate speech, talking down on their fellow human being, talking down on a particular tribe. I, I posted a video here today, um, earlier early today, where I was telling us that we, there are no bad tribe. We only have bad people. And you cannot take because of the error of few individuals in a tribe and conclude that all the people in that tribe are bad. To say that a tribe is bad. For me, it is not acceptable. Look at some of the things these uh, uh, pastors are saying. That Igbos are the problem of Nigeria. The problem the, 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 the problem the Yorubas are having are the Igbo people. The problem Nigeria is having is the Igbo people and all of all these things. No. I personally don't even think that this is what we should be discussing right now. Our focus should be how we can fix, help fix this, our country, Nigeria. The energy some of us put into criticizing another tribe, talking down on, on other people, talking down on other tribe. If we channel that same energy, putting that same effort in doing our own little bits on how this country can get better, or using that same energy to pray and intercede for this country, Nigeria, I'm telling you that we would have made massive progress. How can you come out on TV? How can you come out online to be spilling some of the things that we hear online about other people, about other tribe? I don't understand it. For me, it does not make sense and it will never make sense to me. 
that you come online to condemn and criticize a, another tribe. Yeah, it is. You can call out the the individuals that are doing this thing. Don't take because of few individuals to judge a tribe. Don't do that. It is an error. I've been hearing some people do it I, even about my tribe because of some encounters they have had here and there with, uh, with with people from my tribe. They say that my oh everybody in my tribe are like that, which is which is an error. You don't you carry an entire tribe and judge them because of one encounter or few encounters you have had some with some ignorant individuals. It is an error. It is bad. You do nobody it in fact it is unacceptable. The government have to do something about things like this. The government really have to do something about it because all these things are the reason why Nigeria can never be at peace. And this is one of the reasons why Nigeria cannot be one. Because you cannot continue to condemn these people, to drag their reputation, their name to the more than you expect them to stick with you. No, it does not make sense. In the video I, I, I shared with us earlier today, I was trying to explain to her that, okay, if these people, they feel that Igbos and Biafras are the problem of Nigeria, why not let these people go? They have been battling to become a country of their own. Let them go if you feel that they are a problem. If you feel that these people, they are like the, the reason why Nigeria is moving backward, why not let them go? They say they want to go, you say no. They say they want to become a country of their own, you say no. Or oh, yeah, allow them to live in peace in the country, you say no. Give them what they deserve as a, as a people, as far as Nigerians, you say no. Why? Every time you come online, they both this, they both this, they both this, they both this. I am not saying that they are perfect because me, I have had my own uh, uh, encounter with them. I have had my own encounter. I can share different stories with you of uh, the sad encounter I've had with uh, uh, some Igbo people. I can share it with you. But that does not mean that I will say that, okay, everybody in Igbo land is a bad person. Because I also know beautiful people that are from the East, that are Igbos. I also know them. So, I, you will look at that. Well, I, I, I don't blame them because it is normal. You see, in life, uh, you do... Then you do nine good things for people. Once you do one bad, they will forget about that 99, that nine, and use that one to judge you. It is bad. It is not good. It is not fair. Can you come out to say that an, an entire tribe, my God, where did we get all these things from? We must, especially the one that even sad, like, makes me feel really sad is that these things are coming from pastors people that should know better people that should be guiding people leaders these things are coming from them so if pastors are thinking this way if people, leaders are thinking this way imagine what their followers will be thinking how why just think about it. If people that are supposed to be leaders, that are leaders, are thinking this way, how will their followers be, followers be thinking? Some of this thing, eh, it is it is just heartbreaking and, and 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 really sad. It is sad that at this stage, this is what we are still. Oh my God! This is the way we still think in this country. We that should be thinking of how we can help move this country forward, and we we, we are still thinking this way. In fact, I'm, in fact, I'm disappointed that at this stage we are still here talking about this. Where is the problem? Where is not the problem? This and no, no, we have passed that stage. We ought to have passed that stage. Look at how messed up the country is, and we are busy pointing our finger, accusing finger. This person is this. This person is that. This person have done this. This person have done that. How? How long are we going to continue like that? When will all this thing end? The, he, he, this person is this, this person is this, this person is the reason why Nigeria is like this, this person is this. No. Nigeria is like this because we have refused to be responsible as Nigerians. Our politicians have refused to be responsible. We will sit and we condemn the government, but look at what some of us are doing. We are enemies to our own self. How can we, how can even the government take us here when we cannot even love ourselves. I keep saying it and I will always say it. <laughs> the problem of this country self, the government is there. 
the politicians are their both. You see, the, the problem of this country is tribe, politics, and religion. If we can tackle these three things, and the government, these politicians are using these things against us. If they are not using politics to divide us, they are using religion to, sc to, to, to scatter us. If they are not using religion to scatter us, they are using tribe to destroy us. We must put an end to all these things. Anything called tribalism, we must put an end to it. We cannot continue like this. We cannot continue to let these people play with our minds. We cannot continue to let these people like, like use us the way they want, play us like game. We cannot continue like that. Let us put an end to all to this madness today. Let us put an end to this nonsense. Let us love one another. Appreciate our differences. We are better together. I will always say it, whether you like it or not. We I will always say it. Love, let love lead. The, the people of Biafra, they are fighting and agitating to live because of this type of character, this type of things. Every time you are accusing them, like, I, I thought, the marginalization is too much. It's too much. And it must stop. How can you, every time you are dragging one tribe, you are calling them bad name, you are accusing them of this, you are accusing them of that, this, ah, uh, ah. Uh, let them go to you, not let them go. They say they want to leave. They don't want to be part of Nigeria again. You say no. But every time we hear people coming to say, these people have done this, these people have done this, these people have done that. Please, there are, there are more, more things we, we are supposed to be thinking about. The tribe shouldn't be... In fact, tribalism should... There, we shouldn't encourage it anymore. All these things should be condemned should be condemned let love lead let love lead especially if you are a believer you don't have any reason you don't have a, in fact any excuse to hate on anybody you don't at all you don't have to do that let love lead let love lead forget about all these things that these politicians forget love your neighbor love your brothers Love your sister. See people from the east as your brother. See people from the west as your brother. See people from the south as your brother. See people from the north as your brothers. Let us live as one and see how we can fix our country, Nigeria. The country is going backward every day. The country is dying. No progress again in the country. Yet all we are busy fighting about is this tribe has done this, this tribe has done that, this tribe has done that, this ah uh ah. -uh. No, now. Please, I, I am begging us. All this thing is not acceptable. And to our pastors, honestly, I don't expect things like this from, from you people. If all your followers are... Okay, which advice will these pastors not give to their followers? Which advice? Which advice? They should know better. They that should know better, they are, not, they are the one making the mistake that their followers should be making. How on earth will you come out online to be criticizing a tribe because of the errors of few people? Imagine I come into your family and I say that because one of your brothers have done something and I say that everybody in your family are criminals. How would you feel? Because you, you, you feel bad because you know that you are not a thief, you are not a criminal. And you expect us not to judge you because of the error of your brother. But that is exactly what I am saying. If any Igbo man does something to you, treat that man as an individual. If they have committed any crime, arrest them. If any Yoruba man does something, arrest that person. Treat that person as an individual. If an Aousa man does something, arrest that person. Treat that person as an individual. Don't say all oh, the entire tribe are your problem. All of them are this, all of them are, it is an insult. It is bad. It is bad. I will always stand for the truth and I will always call a spade a spade. I will always call a spade a spade. So please, I want to beg us, let love lead. Let us put aside tribalism, religion and politics. 
Let us not allow all these things to come, like to continue to separate, divide and scatter us. I am begging us. Let us unite. Let us unite. And I want to encourage us also to pray for our country, Nigeria. Remember to pray for our country, Nigeria. I will always say it, that Nigeria is the only country we have. So please, let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria, that the will of God be done in this, our country, Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do well to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, so you never post another video, if you try to turn on subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for listening to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. When you call for one, may millions answer in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget, share the video on all social media platforms, share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next one. You are blessed. Mm -hmm.